Coming up this weekend is something that's turned into an annual tradition here in the Tennessee Valley area. It's the Blessing of the Animals Pet Fair. Joining us to talk about that are Taylor Hickson from the Humane Educational Society. Taylor, welcome to the show. Thank you. And you also have hey, uh, Kaylee Doyle. And Kaylee is actually one of our hard workers here at News 12 now. Kaylee, good to see you downstairs instead of up in your gilded <laughs> castle or wherever Thank you. you work up there. <laughs> Got to ask you, exactly what is the Blessing of the Pets? So it is a, an event where we have the priest from St. Stephen's Catholic Church who mm -hmm. comes to the Knights of Columbus and blesses our pets. Um, it's with a $10 donation, you get lunch, which includes hot dog or hamburger, right. chips, a dessert, a drink, and that also gives you access to our other events. We have a um, smoocher pooch kissing booth. Smooch a pooch kissing booth. Yes, okay. and we'll have photos of that. Right. Paul Casso art stations. So Paul Casso. Yes. Got it. Your pet it. can create a masterpiece for you. I still have mine from last year on my refrigerator. I wish you brought that in. I should that have. Really cool. Bring it in and we'll show it on the air tomorrow. I certainly will. And Taylor, how does this go to benefit the Humane Society? Well, Kaylee does a great job of collecting donations, whether it be food or blankets, things we need throughout the year, and then as well as monetary donations, and that right. all helps our animals. In it. So she does this all by herself, so it, it's really a big help for us. And you've been doing this how many years? I know it's been several. This is our second year. Second year? Yes. I thought you had done this a little bit more. No, nope, this all is right. our second year. This is something that's really neat, and the pets are not confined to the conventional dogs or cats. No, no. Correct? Bring in birds fish, hamsters, whatever pet you've got, bring it in and it can be blessed. Any sort of pet that you have. Now, I don't know how Taylor lucked out and got to hold the really cute <laughs> pet. Can you tell us a little bit about this lovely little critter? Yeah, I'll wake her up. Uh, this is Candy Corn. She is three months old and oh, she is man. available for adoption at the Humane Society right now and one of the animals that Kaylee helps out with the blessing of the animals. Look at that face. About how old is Candy Corn? She is three months. Any idea what kind? Um, she's a retriever mix, so she'll be probably about a medium-sized dog. Well, she is awfully laid back to be a retriever. <laughs> she's, I think she had her breakfast and she was a little hyper this morning, but mm -hmm. now she's ready for a nap. So then, yeah, she's going to take one right now. And uh, really, who can, who can blame her? Um, now, are pets going to be available for adoption on site out there? Yes, the Humane Society will bring out a few adoptable animals mm -hmm. as well. So maybe if you have a dog and you want to see if they get along with another dog, it would be a great time to bring your dog down. Right. And let's see, you have the uh, Paul Casso Art Station Splash Pool. Yes. Tell us about that. So we'll have little kitty pools set up so your dogs can splash around in there. If it's a warm day, they can cool off. Mm -hmm. And they really enjoyed that last year. This sounds like uh, an incredible amount of fun. Raffles, you're going to have yes, some raffle we'll items have about three different um, pet gift basket raffles. We've mm -hmm. had some great donations from some local pet businesses in the area. Right. Um, and the $10 donation fee went to get your lunch and everything also includes one raffle ticket and then you one can raffle buy ticket. additional raffle tickets for a dollar each. And I see here you have a bounce house for the bounce <laughs> <laughs> bounce house for the kids. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just for the pets. Bring your kids out, you know, maybe you can't have pets for whatever reason right. and you know, bring the kids out and have a fun family day. Anything that benefits the Humane Educational Society is great with me and I'll tell you, we are going to begin entering a partnership where the folks from the Humane Educational Society will be with us a couple of times a month on News 12 now this morning. So uh, looking forward to that. We're thrilled about it. Taylor, good to see <laughs> good you. Good to see you. Candy corn. <laughs> yeah. Candy said, leave me alone, I'm taking a nap. Haley, thank you so much. Thank it's you. It's the blessing of the Animals Pet Fair this Sunday, Knights of Columbus out on Lee Highway. Email Kaylee if you would like more information, kaylee.doyle18 at gmail.com. That's kaylee.doyle18 at gmail.com.